it. So we've made it to the bottom. <laughs> trains. Yes. Rubbish, aren't they? No, I like them. You're not allowed on them. Oh, a first class hatter. Oh, let's go and see the price of them, babe. Hey, that would suit you. Oh, that top one. No chance. It's 17 no. and 9, Mazzy. Is that expensive? It sounds it, doesn't it? Honey, can we go on the bus? Can we? Oh, we can't. I thought we can go to Balmoral. Yeah. Let's just go straight past them. If we can't go on them, I'm not interested. Oh, wow, well, this is fun. The last bus. Many Belfast people depended on. There you go. You read that, guys. I'm just going to enjoy the... The view of it. Oh my god, it's so good. Who? Oh, what is she doing? She's peeling a plaster off or something. Sorry if the picture ain't great, guys. It's behind glass. I wanted to be a bus conductor, but Dan won't let me. Hmm, we'll see. I've got my uniform on today. Absolutely gorgeous. Honey, come over here for size. I've got to show the guys this. What a beautiful, beautiful wee bus it is. Can't get on it though. No, but isn't it beautiful? I haven't found anything on this floor I can get on. No, but look, I do think it's for children to drive. But is it? It is. It's got a big steering wheel inside it. I actually think this is like a child's toy. It is. It's a wee bus. Where do you get in it? It, well, it's for children. That's a little bit special, isn't it? It's a taxi. Is it? From 1911. Oh, gosh, that's wonderful. Oh, in the taxis now, it is. Oh, in that, look at the lever on that, look. Gosh. I wonder what sort of people sat in that babe in their day. So can you imagine going back and seeing things like this on the road? This was a bread delivery van. Behind there, you've got a co-op bike. What's that one there, Mazzy? Milk float. Is that a milk float? Can you imagine driving on the road with these things? They're fantastic. The Belfast Telegraph newspaper van. Gosh, Morgan's uh, removal, house removal. We've got an electric van. Okay, we're getting a bit more modern now. That's 1994. And the AA. If you broke down, this is what would turn up. An AA motorcycle. I just it's just brilliant to think these things were on the road once. Then you're going back even further. 1920, this was a milk float. Oh so gosh, you yeah. Turn things of milk there. And this was an ice cream van from 1889. Ice cream van. I didn't know they had ice cream vans that far back. I thought the Italians brought them over in World War One or two or something. No, they had ice cream vans in 1889. Look at him rescuing the cat. You're a qualified fireman now, aren't you? I have. I have taken a few lessons in firemen. Do, yes. do you want to go up and help him? To be honest, I wouldn't like to do it in them days because you'd have to turn the handle to get that to go up and I bet that was hard work, getting that ladder to go up. It's alright, I'll give it a good go, go on. No, I'm not allowed. It says on it, no climbing. Oh, just quickly guys, as we've got to move on, but these two are really old ambulances, look. 1967. They're amazing, really? aren't they? And then you've got these fire engines. Yeah. This is a fire pump from 1932. Oh my gosh, that's that gorgeous. That is from the 1880s. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love it. What did you just say? We're, we're down on the last floor, I think this is, the bottom floor, the cars. Yeah. What was the first thing you just said? I said, don't they look like the DeLorean? The DeLorean? Yeah. Let's go have a look. I bet it's not, but yeah. I bet it is. Is it? No. Is it? Is it a DeLorean? It's a coupe, DMC coupe. All right, well, it's I'm, not I'm, looking a, I'm looking a bit stupid now. <laughs> but I'm sure I read the other day that DeLorean is yeah. actually made in Ireland. Really? So when you saw that, I thought it was. 
But I've seen the real DeLorean, and I think it was in Florida, so... Oh, yeah, not the real one, but a DeLorean. I thought that yeah. was Yeah. Oh, it's so I'm, good. But I'm sure I read there it's an Irish car. It could be. I'm not sure. Yeah, they didn't make them to drive, they made them to fly back to the future. This is the funniest looking thing. This is, it's like a rocket. I, I don't even know what to say about it. It's got one wheel at the back. Um, this is the car that inspired the name Bubble Car, apparently. Oh, really? Oh, and it's so cute. 1960, made in Germany. Yeah, I like it. Oh, hold on, hold on, honey. Mini punch. Ah. That's more me. I love these classic cars. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. There you go, guys, all the info. Oh. Garages used to look like. Yeah, that's well good, isn't it? Oh, look, guys. Wow. Why is it all broke up like that, kind of? Not <laughs> sure. To be honest, cutaway display model. Maybe they just had it in the showroom to show you how it's yeah. inside. I'll tell you what though, that was when cars were well built. I mean, look at these chairs, guys. You can't get a brand new car these days with them comfy chairs. Yeah, you're speaking from the passenger's point of view. Look at state of the drivers. Yeah, right, it's a bit more uncomfortable for him. Good morning, <gasps> DeLorean. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so good. And it's not it the original. Is. Maker, no. DeLorean Motor Company, Dunmurray, Belfast. Oh wow, guys. It is an Irish car. So, it, for you that don't. don't Irish car now. So, for the guys that don't really know what the DeLorean is, it's, it's the car from Back to the Future film. And if you don't know that, go Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is special. I'm just going to. Let's just stay here for a little longer. <laughs> it's so special. Oh, yes! You are clever, aren't you? I am, you? I? Yeah. It's an amphi car. Yeah. It's a car and a boat. <laughs> Is it Irish as well, then? If it were Irish, it'd have a rocket on it as well and go up into space. Oh. Ford Cortina, 1960s. And it's got a lot of 1960s furniture. Yeah. Really what people were living in back then. That smelled good. Is that what your living room looked like when you were little? I went around in 1960s. Are you sure? I'm absolutely positive. Oh, this is special. Oh, what a beautiful scene, isn't it, babe? Lovely little family having a picnic. Don't know what Dad's up to under there. Oh, he's trying to start a car. Why is he trying is to start he? a car? When, when picnic's already. Well, yeah. Unless we've got an argument, he's getting him back in the car and he's off. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Maybe she didn't make the ham sandwiches like I do. Maybe. Maybe not enough mustard. Now that is spectacular. What is it, babe? It's a sunbeam. It's, it's leather, is it? Leather? It looks like it's all made of leather. Like coated, not made of leather, but you know. It's not saying anything about that. Well, don't know. There you go, guys. It what looks quite special. Honey, that would suit you real good, look. What is it? It's like a Batmobile or it's, something. It is. It's a Batmobile, Mazzy. Can I have this one when you know when we win the lottery or something? Nine pound ninety-nine. It says on it. Yeah. Really. Not even if we win the lottery. How much are we planning on winning? Those. Right, we'll finish it up here with a classic Mondeo car, car of the, the year. year. 1994. <laughs> I won't have one given. <laughs> That's your old classic English Mondeo car, guys. Oh, there's a Ford Model T here. You have to get that one. Oh, yeah, now that's worth showing, isn't 1911. it? 1911, that is beautiful. Ford Model T. Oh. Probably the best car in here. So just as we thought, we were done. It's another huge building. Yes. 
and we're greeted by a hearse. Yeah, how wonderful. Rolls Royce there. 1924 Rolls Royce hearse. Yes, beautiful. If there's such thing as a beautiful hearse. Yeah. Oh wow, I was hoping to see one of these today, weren't I, babe? I certainly were. Oh my god, guys, I just love these. Oh, it's beautiful. 1956. Oh, it's well good. Oh, I'd live in one of those. So what all this floor is all different things pulled by horses and a bit of farming machinery. Yep. Nothing standing out as such, is That's it? That's a good car, oh. isn't it? It's a car, isn't it? A car? A monster car. Du -du -du -du. Du -du -du -du. That's the monsters. Oh. That's a monster car. You're right. Dan just said this does look like a skeleton. It's really... It's a skeleton horse break. Gosh, it's weird, isn't it? I don't... Yeah. It looks dead. Yeah, it do. <laughs> James Castle Scotch Cart. Oh, okay. Loaded with turf for sale in killy bags. Is that a kid on the top of it? Is that a kid? It can't be. Bikes. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Not bad. No, it is. There you go, guys, for those that are interested. It's very nice. So we're in this section. <laughs> Dan goes straight over to the rusty old thing in the middle. Look at all these. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Straight over to that rusty little thing. <laughs> Have you any idea what this is? No. This Where is, is the sausage tyres. Sausage tyres? This is one of the first, from 1889. Yeah. It's one of the first ever bikes in the world to be fitted with pneumatic tyres. What's you, new, pneumatic? Pneumatic? I don't know, but it sounds good. I'm guessing it just means like with an inner tube. Oh. That's my guess. Yeah. And that's one of the first ever in the world. 1889. Oh gosh. I had a racer bike when we were little. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just about the bikes. What it's is about that? Who, they, who belong to. Oh, really? Um, I don't know who they are. Isabel Woods. Yeah. American racing bike, that's her. But did they really belong to these people? Yeah, of course they did. Of course they did. I've never heard of any of them, I'll be honest, but they're obviously very famous cyclists. So we've got a very, very special viewer. Yes, I believe he loves motorbikes, so he might get a kick out of some of these. He might know who they are. I don't. Tom Huron's motorcycle from the 1970s. Have you ever heard of him? Never. A Grand Prix no. racer in the 1970s. Yeah. That's his bike. Cool. We've got Stanley Woods. Don't know who he is. But there you go, guys. George Rockerton. That's his bike. McCandless Manx. I've never heard of any of these people or bikes, to be honest. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Check this out, this bike here. Right. Yeah. Ridden by this dude here, look, R.J. McCready. Okay. He was known as the father of Irish motoring. Right? Mm -hmm. In the 1880s, he became a successful racing cyclist and Irish champion. And he, like, promoted cycling all around Ireland. It's because of him that there's uh, motoring all around Ireland. All because of that bike. And they even got an engine. Honey, I need this one. This one's more for me, look. David Jones's car. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's tiny. I have no idea who Little he fella. Is. He was only two foot, two mm. inches high. Oh my God, that's so Born in Lisburn, which we're very close to. Really? See, I told you, our leprechauns are real. It actually says that. Promoted himself as the living leprechaun, See? the world, the world's smallest man. Two foot ten, two inches. Oh my god, he fit cute in my pocket. I love the car. That's gorgeous. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. He's. Oh look, you're just turning your head. Are you not seeing the back wheels on this? All the wheels, sorry. Oh yeah. 
That is strange. It likes suspension springs all the way round. That's what the German army used in World War One, apparently. For what? What, this actual bike? The actual bike, the Opel German bicycle. Oh, wow. These are interesting. They look old. I'm just leaving Dan to do his research. What do you need to know now? What are they actually called, though? I used these from 1784 to 1789. Yeah. Sedan chairs. Sedan chairs. Yeah. And that would carry royalty and kings in and things like that. Oh, gosh. These particular ones were used by some, some lady of gentry from Dublin. Oh. So you'd have poor, four poor guys having to carry this big fat woman around just because she's got a bit of money. Don't really know anything about this ship, but the detail on this model is brilliant. I just want to take them to the back, Mazzy. Have you seen the Umbrellas back here? Yeah. Look at this. I think it's called the Andes. Andres, Andes, Andes. There you go. So go back to 1824. Yeah. This is how people would travel in, in Ulster. In a hot air balloon. <laughs> I say people, back in them days it wasn't. It used to be sheep, cocks and ducks. Do you like that? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm guess I'm guessing it's French. It looks like it's made out of Meccano again, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> All riveted together with Meccano bits. So it's called an SC1 and they only made two of them. And the other one crashed um, somewhere here in Belfast yeah. in 1963, tragically killing the pilots. That's a shame. We've just seen this, and Maz is getting excited because I think she thinks we can get on it. Go have a look. Can we get on it? Oh, no entry, Mazzy. No entry. Well, should we just buckle up and see where it takes us? Anyway? Well, it ain't going to take you anywhere, is it? Oh, that's a shame. I'd love to sit in there and press a few buttons. So that was the Ulster Transport Museum. What did you think, Mazza? Wow, absolutely wow. So much to see. We, the, the only <laughs> downside to it is we had to rush, didn't we? Sorry about that, guys. Because yeah. when we've got two museums, you can get two museums £22. We've got to do the other one now, yes. which apparently is twice as big as this one. Yes. And time is knocking on, so we're going to have to rush to get onto that, but absolutely fantastic. Definitely recommend. Yeah, I've been to a lot of transport museums before, and this is one of the better ones. Get yourself here. Yes. Love it. Right, see Love you all it. later. See you on the next. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.